Hey guys, it's Ronnie from Manhattan, New York. So I am here in bed waiting for some food that I ordered. Look at Timmy. You guys been asking me to see Timmy. Look at Timmy. With his handsome self. I am in my PJs. PJs is from Old Navy. Yeah, I think it's from Old Navy. Um, I, uh, I'm, I started back taking my high blood pressure medicine. So hopefully my pressure will get back to what it was post baby because I usually suffer from having low blood pressure. So, and, and I'm also anemic and I usually suffer from having low blood pressure. <sighs> Excuse me. But ever since the baby child, I've been having high blood pressure. Then that turned into preeclampsia. So I had to be induced at 38 weeks. Watch my afterbirth video so I could tell you guys the exact specifics. Because, y'all, that was almost nine months ago. So, I'm trying. What I've been doing for weight loss is dancing in the house. That's what I've been doing for weight loss. Because I caught acute pancreatitis from the Ozempic, which is like a 1% chance. But... I did, and since then, the doctor told me to discontinue it, so I don't take Ozempic anymore, and I still be having, like, diarrhea here and there, so I don't, I haven't started back the metformin yet, but I plan on starting back the metformin because Hunty, with them weight loss medicine aids, I might not even need to get the surgery. So, I am hoping that's the case. Um, because if I hit my goal weight naturally, then I'm not going to, I'm obviously not going to get the surgery. But if I don't, then I'm going to get the Beatrix surgery. Um, I've been overweight my whole life, to be honest, and I've always been tall because I'm five, nine and a half, so, but when they told me that weight, 297 pounds, okay, I was like disturbed. Because I was hold on, hold on. I was two twenty five before I got pregnant. I was on my on my slope of losing weight. I was taking my Ozempic once a week. Um and I was taking my antidepressants. And I was happy to be losing that weight. Not happy emotionally, but happy to be losing that weight. Um, now they diagnosed me with postpartum depression. And they're saying that they want another evaluation in order to, before the kids get returned to me. So I have to do a psychological evaluation before the kids get returned to me. Which I already know I'm going to fail because I have postpartum depression. So I don't know why I'm doing uh, psychological evaluation. You know when people ask for certain stuff, it pisses you off internally and you don't say shit, but in your mind you just be like, 
why don't you go get a fucking psychological evaluation you know it's like it's not nice this is not a nice process can you imagine somebody like sitting there just constantly causing you pain like they spoke to my mom y'all couple weeks ago now they want a psychological evaluation like can you just imagine somebody constantly causing you pain like they just like sometimes it just be like especially if you a woman like me and your mom just always seem to be fucking up your life I, I just I don't know why it's like I don't even know how I feel towards a lady no more. Like, okay, you kicked me out for your boyfriend at the age of 12 that was molesting me as a kid. Then you sit there and tell me, oh, years later, I was like, I was, that was after I had Micah. Years later, then you go, oh, he admitted to molesting you. Um, but don't think that makes me and you friends know. I'm like, what? And then she go through her 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 emotion. She go she go through this shit where she treat me good, then she don't treat me good. She treat me good, then she don't treat me good. And when I say treat me good, I mean just give me the bare minimum respect. That is treat me good when I say treat me good. So let me clarify what I'm saying. And like she gonna sit there and cuss me and my baby father. I'm like, bro, you never even met my baby father. You met my baby father once and we've been together. <clears throat> We've been together for eight years in October, but you got mad shit to say about him. It's not like, you know, my YouTube channel, that's different. Y'all like my family, okay? You guys know everything that's going on in my life as that I share with you guys. You guys are the best journal, um... Especially with everything that I've been through in life and being alone and secluded, going through it. Um, you guys have been for me like no other. So I thank you guys for growing with me because you guys have been with me since I was 22, I want to say. So thank you guys. And I am now 33. So, thank you guys so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, I want to get back to doing giveaways, but the money's not there, y'all. Y'all be hearing me. I be constantly complaining about money. Like, right now, I am freaking broke. And my phone bill is coming up. And I owe $5,000 in rent. And I'm trying to get um, HRA to pay it. So, because I really don't have money coming in. So, I can't afford to pay it. If I pay it, that would be like me having to take out a loan in order to pay it. So, that means I can't pay it. If I could pay it, I didn't need a loan because I could go to the bank and take my money. I could pay it. I can't pay it. I can't afford it. Um, I was dancing on my bed and I fell on the floor, y'all. Y'all know it was my birthday and I was drinking. And I fell on the freaking floor and now my knee and my shin is hurting me. But I had fun. I had fun, you guys. I had a blast. Like, I'm grateful. Um, what else? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Timmy was hugging me. Um. So I work Monday four to twelve. So that's super cool. Um. 
Yeah. But I already, I, as I told you guys, I started working there the 9th and I, the job is up in September. I'm not sure exactly when in September, but it's up in September. And then I start school September 9th on my bachelor's after having a baby last year. You guys, I feel like I am accomplishing my goals. Like my baby is eight months. She just turned eight months on the third. So I am super excited as a mom of five beautiful, beautiful, four beautiful girls and one beautiful boy. Um, I'm super excited to see them grades come in, what I'm going to learn. Pray for me, you guys, because I'm super scared. Like, I'm scared. I have not been to school in six years. Since 2018. So, pray for me. Thumbs up this video. Share it, like it. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated with me and my life. Be blessed. I'll do the same. Again, this is Brownie from Manhattan, New York. Mwah.